Hello and welcome to Zach 3 TV, and today we're racing the uh, Papyrus Motorsports Park. This is round of 12, race 1. As you can see, he's starting on poles, Jacob Shangle. we will note here, this is his third pole of the season. Currently has more than anyone else. And uh, as this being the first uh, race of the round of 12, let's talk about our guys who got eliminated last round. And as you may notice, our second place starter does not have any playoff stickers anymore, as Barney Thresher the third was arguably the least successful of the playoff drivers coming into the round of 16, or coming out of the round of 16, as he was probably one of the most successful coming in, uh, having a second place standing coming into the race, uh, into the playoffs, and also three wins this season. Joy Paints also came to the same fate after a terrible time pit stop last week at Rockingham. She didn't have enough gas to keep to the end, and unfortunately did not have enough points to withhold back Reggie Fogelman, who did make the round of 12. Bird uh, we just plain didn't have a good round and was not able to get enough points. He's starting fourth today, hoping to get some good out of the season. So far, his worst season yet in anything he's ever ran in this series, as he's made the championship four in every single round and uh, every single um, series he's ran in this server. Uh, he will not be able to repeat that this year, as this is his worst season yet. Also, his first season with Chevy, so... Maybe seen something there, uh, and significant, but nonetheless, still has two wins still for the season. Very good, nonetheless. And last but not least, um, of the eliminated was German Chick 81. Got involved in a crash with her teammate Roberta Crown Jr. last week at Rockingham, and unfortunately was not able to advance to the next round. And she's looking for a good season and first win since 2021. And also, we got Jonah with us. Jonah, you got any first thoughts? Uh, first thoughts of um. The of the race would be like uh, would um be the leader Jacob Strangle. Last time he went was on the he was in the front front um front of the pack was at um Portland. And then and he won won it. Was did he won it or no? Uh, actually, uh, Cody Forge started pull Portland and got passed by Seanard, who eventually won it. Jacob Shingles uh. uh I think I remember actually he uh, started pole and won Iowa. Got his first career win. Yeah, only one season. Iowa. He also started pole at Knoxville. Did not finish that race. And then let's take a look at the um, points leader. Um, who was the points leader? Again? Well, we technically uh, don't have a points leader since this is the first round of the playoffs, but we do have a uh, more yeah. a most successful driver of the of the round of sixteen, which was Sean Ard. So technically speaking, he is a points leader. But so now, Sean Art is is late is like um he's the most consistent guy after round of sixteen. With the yeah, and then we'll go and Jerpsy, some of the... who's our season points champion, and uh, he's actually starting last. But we're about to get the engine started, and it looks like someone may be reporting an issue from the radio. Let's go and go check with Shangle, make sure we don't and... miss the start of the command. And the four drivers who needs to um be in the um safe zone for the playoffs. It, and that and those drivers are are Dripsy, Sh Shibe, Daniel Paulus Jr., Brandon Nelson, and Reggie Fogelman. They need to um head to the playoffs before um time is running out, as the engines are fired up for Papyrus. Uh, just getting word from the uh 24 team that they're they they may be having a fuel leak in that 24 car. That's definitely gonna hinder them today. Um. They have a no, uh, yeah. No, we'll see how it does. I don't think it's gonna hurt from the draft, but just something to watch. That 24 cars, they do have a fuel leak. Hopefully, it does not get worse for them. So we'll see how that goes. There are a playoff driver, and we're one of the best drivers of the round of 16, uh, finishing top five two of the three races. Actually, top three to be technical. As, as we hit, as we he heading to the front stretch, 40, 40 um, something drivers. 41. Are gonna. Forty-one drivers are starting, starting up, as they hit the restart zone. Green flag is out. Wait, green flag. Green flag is out. And, oh, green flag is out, and we're underway at Papyrus. As Jacob Strangler, I mean st Strangle. God. Shangle. Uh, Sh Shangle, not Strangle. Shangle. <laughs> let's not uh, get a. Let's not get a. Copyrights through a strike. <laughs> yeah, no. As um the number, 
As um, someone's going, he, is looking at the inside, and that's the 45 of Zevil. The slide there. And he, and here comes Bonnie Thresher in the 59. He's trying to win that. Um, trying to win again. Yeah, he's out of contention in the playoffs. However, he could get a fourth win of the season, which has not been done in NR 2003 era of the Cars Link Cup Series. If they're able to get uh, lap one under green, and they are not, as we are under yellow now. Rather unfortunate. I was hoping they would get a lap looking out down under green. But it looks like Jacob Shangle is going to lead us to the caution in the 64 car. Hopefully, no playoff drivers are involved in whatever accident happened. But if so, and you know, on to next week. Pretty sure it's not the 50. Well, could be. Oh yeah, 54. Yeah, this this isn't looking good at all. Oh yeah, this is not looking great. So Dripsy came in after the wreck had happened. So we're gonna try this one more time. So yeah, just nowhere to go really. 97 came down. 5, 82, 91, and 48. Uh, I'll see where. Oh my gosh, that was a nasty hit actually. For the 54 and the 97, that's going to take them both out of the race. Uh, so they're going to have a deficit to overcome coming into next week. Which, uh, let me check the schedule real quick. Well, actually, I'll check it real quick once we go to figure out what the initial cause of this wreck was. And I'll check it, seeing we got time under yellow. Um, so the 97 had nowhere to go. See where this all start. Oh yeah, start right here with the Drum Chickity One, Scented on Gaming Freak. Too much. Chef Squid involved. Reggie Fogelman involved. Zine and Dripsy. Man, Zine had one nasty wreck there. So did Dripsy, but I think that was all that was involved pretty far back in the pack, but I think all that was involved are mostly out of the race. Fifty one off pace a little bit. They may have just had a bad uh, it looks like they might have got ran into somewhere. But uh, back to live coverage. Chef Squid currently only car out of the race is uh, I think uh, the other guys might be in pit road. Yeah, they're still in pit road. So, um, they are definitely going to be going a lap down likely. So uh, is Reggie's still in it. Uh, surprisingly, not a lot of damage to that five car despite hitting. I'm not seeing any cosmetic damage. So see what happens. Uh, I don't believe he has any heavy damage. 24 dark rain. We've seen him about that fuel leak. He is recovered to 25th. So we'll see what happens. Uh, he's going to go to. I believe he's going to go to pit road this time. Get some repairs. Probably a smart move. Case. Teammate Roberts Crown Jr. with the fuel strap. Some guys come back here with a fuel strap as well. Go to our pace car. Jacob Shangle leading the first few laps. We're going to go ahead and let this uh, one go under as well. As we uh, do need to check some things for we go green, I'm going to go ahead and go to one of our pit lanes and pause it. That way I can turn on double fall restarts, or overtime anyway. And this will be our final attempt for a double fall restart. If they cannot last a lap, we will turn off double fall restarts. And if we start having issues like we did in SCRS, pull the same card, and we will enable single file starts. So, um, as for, uh, it looks like the 97 to 54 are done for the day. So, those two are going to be negative right now. Uh, the season points champion and the uh, 2017 champion. And then Chef Squid, the 82 is likely a lap down. And then some cars in the back trying to catch up. But, uh, other than that, I think that's our uh, DNF list. But, uh, yeah, the next week, so we got two more weeks of this round of. 12 Miami Road Course and Pocono, where those guys are going to have to come in clutch, and hopefully we don't have any more wrecked out. But uh, yeah, they're definitely going to be in a deficit unless we have more wreck out. Then, well, probably what the NCCRS has, where you just got to be the best of the worst, pretty much, in that case there. Uh, again, not going to rain this time. But, uh, Did I miss anything? Uh, we had a crash on lap one. It looks like the, the 97 to 54 flipped. Can we take a? Can I look at the replay of it? Um. Of. I suppose we could take a quick look again. 
We haven't done replay. Have we? Or? Yeah, we'll take a quick look at it at full speed. Uh, the 82 was involved, but we'll take a look at it from the 97 since he had the worst of it. But uh, the 82 and the 81 got together in one of the corners, and it sparked off this accident. 81 might be slightly off pace, uh, or just might have got passed a lot. I'm not sure. Somewhere, somehow, the that all sparked together and just was not a good combination. A lot of checkups Ooh. up here too. Lots of checkups. If Lots we got, and there's the two. Um, there's oh, okay. two. 22 oh. and the 54. Did not oh. see this. Did not see this at all. So the 51 got into the. It was the lucky of me to look at the replay. Yeah, yeah. I would know. I would not have seen got that. by the playoff, the playoff contender, Gypsy. Are they like um teammates or something? Oh. Yeah, that was the worst of it. Uh, no. That 51 that is 51's teammate to the 59. Who's in second? And that, also teammate that's a to the. That's backfire from um, from from the spin that um fifty four turned the fifty one. Maybe, but uh fifty one is still in the race, and the fifty four is not. Twenty four lap down, having to repair damage from their fuel leak. And then the eighty two lap down, chef squid's done for the day. That is turn one. So we are going green this time. Green this time by. Hopefully they'll. This will be our. And if they can keep it green here, we will continue with double follow research. Hopefully we won't need any more. Mm -hmm. Zero will hopefully stay green to that. But if not, we'll we'll go back to our single follow starts. And look at me. I went to. F I was supposed to be six, and now I'm up to fourth. I'm gonna win. Maybe. Highest earning play after right now. Brandon Nelson, of all people, we didn't expect him to do well, but uh, he's still in it. Might be, uh, might not be a too bad of a championship pick for that. O three also, car. also, what happened to the twenty-two and the fifty-four? They are both um, well, play round of twelve contenders. Uh, twenty-two contenders. had some damage in that wreck. Uh, nothing too serious. And guess who? Fifty-four the 50 is out of the race. Yeah, fifty-four got uh, DNF from that flip. Oof. They were not able to recover. But yeah, you're already done. Jacob Shangalo leading it, more laps to his career. Stats, maybe get another win today, or get two wins this season. A little bit of a comeback for road racing and him himself. See what happens. This is a unique um, track. It's a road course plus a super speedway. I'll have to watch the 59 here for a restart violation. Make sure he... And it's, a, and, it's, and it's a pretty good, um, good track as well. The um, the papyrus um, the pap what's it called again? Papyrus something. something? Motorsports Park. Yeah, and it's a unique track. I like it. Yep, Sox ran here. And Sirius ran here last uh, a couple days ago. Sox race was arguably better than this, uh, or and NCCRS, uh, saying your cautions were a little bit less of complexity. I raised the drafting distance for this race as well, so if we did not have that in place, this, it would not have even lasted that long. Uh, it would have been much worse, so hopefully we get a, some green flag laps going here and get a race going. And restart is clear and good. Go spectator through these few corners just in case we have any people that cannot race very well. And there are three wide. Brandon Nelson wasting no time in the 03 car. Fortunately, going three wide is not a good idea on a restart. Let's see if they can keep it clean. Bobby Isaac wants some of it. Let's see if they can keep it clean off this corner. Oh, BGD in the wall. 
Three wide for the lead. Bird looking for win number three of the season. The shingle fighting back on the bottom. Three wide still for the lead. As we're under oh, yellow three again. Wide everywhere. Next Wait, what caution. Happened to the... In double 80. Wait, what the... I'm not sure what happened. We're under yellow again. Next restart will be a single file as the 59. Thresher is taking the lead. Jessica second. Yep. We haven't seen her from the top three. No, we haven't. Came out no, of nowhere. she's making her moves. Yeah, but Barney Thresher the third is going to take the lead and take the yellow flag as we're under caution again. And uh, we will no longer be doing double foul starts as it appears they cannot keep it clean enough for that to happen. Go ahead and turn that off. And let's see what happened. Looks like the five or Reggie Fogelman may, be, may have been involved. If so, not by much. He would have a lot of damage. Might be some internal, if anything. Ah, uh, looks like the 17 and NH also involved. Oh. Ouch. They were checking up a lot. Daniel Pauls Jr. Yeah, we were just talking about drivers that were, playoff drivers that were needing... Other drivers have issues, and sure enough, they got it. Let's we'll see. Start. And also, Where'd this uh, start? Happy... Oh, yeah. Mm. Teammates got it's, um, 22 and the 60. It's, um, I forgot, um, the month, I forgot to, this month is, um, spooky month. Yep, so let's see what happened here. So it all started with, uh, oh, yeah, this just ran out of racetrack. Well, ooh, next he time... got turned, he got. He got pushed down by his teammate. Oh, Frank Chilton, nowhere to go. Reggie Fogelman with a little bit of damage. A nine damage. 21 seemed like he was racing like he had damage. I don't think he has a lot. He doesn't have any issues, but uh, Frank Chilton uh, looking to have yeah, a repetition. Yeah, he's gone involved yeah, like as well. Yeah, he, he's had damage from that first race as well. Oh, O4's um, also, also involved. Frank Shelton. So Single now out of the restart. race, now out of the race is NH. So that's three uh, playoff drivers now out of the race that are now in a deficit. And Daniel Pauls Jr. not looking to continue very easily as he was also involved in that first wreck. Uh, Wait, are we still doing in it though? We are. So we are going green. Not this time. We are not going green this time, but next time around. Yep. Next time around, if we had another caution, we'll put on single file restarts. Not yeah, single file restarts more. are already on, so next one will be so. Oh. Oof. Uh, wait, yeah, and that'll be the, the pace car light. I'll uh, stay that way till the wait. end of the race. Pace car lights are oh no, he's still on. And now the nope. Still not. Uh, no. Uh, yeah, it's still. It's the pace car lights are off. <clears throat> Barney Thrash yeah, well, now we have... do something that hasn't been done now since we... 2019 or 2018. Win four races in one season. We'll see if he can do it. As we had to wait for two minutes for when they go around the track, so can take them a minute. I guess I this will be this will be a good race as well. As so far, we've got two cautions at the start, and now we're gonna go on. Now we go on single file restart. Yep. And, Yep, and the fun f papyr the Papyrus Motorsports Park is like a road course, but it's a super speedway as well. So it's like um Daytona and um Sonoma mixed together, or Talladega or Sonoma, one of them. And it's like, and it's a really, and the and the um and the banking of the turns is really steep. And and they had to go fast by 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 the time they go to the front stretch, and it's a and it's a spectacular track as well. And so 
and if and they'll and the pace car will be going to the pit lane and then and they'll go by single file and head to the and head to the um finish line as what happened to Brandon Nelson? He was running up here recently. I don't know what happened. He was running up there. Where is where is he now? On the with car. Oh, he he fell back to fourteenth. Still there. Must have had a really bad start. You can lose a lot of spots if you're not careful. Highest running mm -hmm. playoff driver is not running very high right now, outside the top ten to be exact. I don't have it to me. You also Where had a bad I? start. Uh huh. Tenth. At least, well. Close. I'm. I'm close. I guess. I'm, no, I'm not close. Oh wait. Yeah. I I picked up back. Anyway. Quadruped is in ninth. High strain playoff driver. Now. They're going on the restart zone and. Green flag is out and we're back underway at Papyrus Motorsports Park. Jacob wants back. Dr Jacob Strangle going on the inside of Jessica. Finally takes second place. Trying to take the lead here, but he doesn't quite have the track. Well, no, yes, maybe. Here we go. Forty of Kazo and sixty-six of um, Roach. Are you kidding me? They're going three wide again. Three wide again. I think they survived the corner. Nope, they didn't. Let's try it again. And eventually they'll have to get it they'll have to get it right eventually. Sixty four and fifteen to nine of um sixty four of drink of Shrangle and um Sh Shangle, not Shrangle, Shangle. And Bonnie Thresher trying to split away the pack from the pack, but Jessica and um and uh who else is in fourth place is um catching up to them, and the caution's out again. This time, what happened? Where? That's what I want to know. He's like a 84, I mean 48. This is for Something like 30th happened. place. I don't get it. I mean, you got some guy's damage, of course. But, like, what the heck? <clears throat> I had to start up here somewhere. Mm. Wait for it. And some car some cars in the wall and that's um the forty two of Jeff Jordan got oh, into yeah. the eighty four and the fifty one. Yeah. So very yeah, isolated accident actually. And the fifty one. Well, that was a pretty isolated accident. And so. the forty two is out of the race. And the seventeen. Eighty two. Wait, why is the seventeen out? Wait, why is the seventeen out? He was wrecked out. Oh. And the 51 and the 48 are still racing. After 51, it has two crashes. So we're going from to the first and now the third. We're going to try this again. Uh, once more, hopefully they do get it. Oh, we have a record. Oh, yellow. what happened? The 82 and the 16 collided. Uh, no, oh, yeah, a... he was trying to get his lap back and the six car was blocking so that's gonna be a uh... That might be a black flag for um, yeah, the six is gonna get an EOL here Yeah That might be a black flag for the 16 After doing that Rookie mistake for sure, but I did six Yeah, 82 oh, wait, already it... with damage so he's his free pass did not come easy. So he's gonna go around, take the free pass, get the back to the end of his longest line, or he's gonna get his free pass, but the six is gonna go back to the line, serve that penalty. 
as we are going green at this time. Wait, I thought it was. A, oh, I thought that was a sixteen. I was like, "What? That seems wrong." But it was a six. Whoops, my bad. Sixteen and... is Gorse, and he is not in this race. So no worries about that. Oh, so. And the pace car lights are off. Going back green. Five, the twenty, uh, twenty-two, and fifty-one pit road. Three of which are playoff drivers and somehow still in the race. I start playoff uh, driver is quadruped and sixth. We're we're about to hit six laps to go at um Papyrus. Yeah, and, a single and... lap ran under green. Yep. That's concerning. This uh probably should have been a little bit more a little bit more underzealous on what I was expecting. Even that I was underzealous, so uh, just a miss. Um Homestead, that's we'll see how that goes. Isn't that next week? Yep. Or, uh yeah, it's homestead but it's the road course, so yeah. Well, I don't even know what to expect for that, to be frankly honest, but we'll see. Well, we're going to try this again. Hopefully, they'll get it figured out. Barney Thresh the third, leading. Likely get the most laps led after getting eliminated from the round of 16. Had he been in the playoffs now, he'd be locked into the round of eight. Or, well, for the most part, anyway. But unfortunately, that's just not going to be the case because he slacked too much last round and ran out of gas in the closing laps last week. Unfortunately, that's just how this point system screws you over. But next year, we won't have that. It's full season season. I just said season twice. Don't question it. But, uh, we'll be having no playoffs where people get eliminated and we get Mickey champions. So, uh, it happens this year, and hopefully we don't get a Mickey champion. There's still hope. Pace car is in. Murray Thresher going to lead us to the point, hopefully, for the final time. Green flag is back in the air here at Papyrus Motorsports Park, lap 11. Hopefully we can finish these laps, uh, six under green. Three dodges. A Ford and a Chevy in the top five right now, two of which teammates, the K&K &K racing cars. We'll see if they were... Did I just hear skid marks? Ah, still good. The spectator here, just because I'm... Got no hope in these guys. K&K &K cars do not work together. Unlike usual, they were able to go green through there. Also, no cars will be manually removed due to the fact we were too late in the race, and no one could possibly lose that much time in six laps. K and K cars stay hold serve three and fourth right now. It's Jacob Shangle is looking for win number two. Barney Thresher looking for win number four of the season. It's Jessica looks slow. Shangle looks slow. And Bobby Isaac right there in fourth, also trying to make a move. And Jessica is searching right now. Bobby trying to draft with, but decided to undercut. Barney's going to lose a ton of ground as Shingles back in the lead. Two K and K cars working together on the bottom. They're going to try to clear that 59, but though he's got the run on the top. Uh, he's going to hold up that 71 quite a bit. In fact, he's going to lose a ton of ground. I have to check up because the 59 is quadruped. Highest running playoff driver is now... Coming to try to take third as Bobby Isaac gets put in the wall there. Ran out of room. One car hits the wall slightly there. Let's check on the 64 of Shangle. Still in the lead. He's actually holding a pretty nice lead right now. Win, win number two I'm looking pretty nice. good. Um, 
we're back green and they actually Same made way. it a lap under green so it looks like we may be green to the end that's, here that's good oh and jacob shank will take the lead place? back oh, Hold on a a second. oh a strangle yeah he did take the lead back let's go to his roof camera quick oh we well they made it um, they made it one they made it two laps under green so we're gonna have overtime yep. now as they were not able to make it another lap under green it was three cards it looks like the f four one. cards single file uh -oh, jonah it's not looking good huh? i mean you're still in it but it looks like you're involved oh wait what happened to me let's we'll see Warm why am I the only? Oh God, dang it! That should be a caution. Was he yellow? We'll see what happened. Looks like the O3 and the 99 battling for position. 99 got an O3. Now we're gonna go for the 121 nice or 80. Yeah, it looks like just a simple spin, laying out of room. Not a whole lot of damage though for either driver, so. Uh, is that a caution or? It is a caution, yes. Yay! Jacob Shank back to lead. Back up. So this oh, means oh. we're gonna go under overtime. So taking a look back. Um, so we're not gonna be pace. Well, actually, you know what? We'll we'll pace minus just because I don't feel like making this last a whole hour because it's caution field race, even though it is. But it's whatever. So Jessica in third. Bobby Isaac uh, was. Ran out of room on the racetrack and it's fallen back to fifth. Uh, he's only lost really relatively uh, a spot to one driver as he was in fourth prior to that. As a quadruped is still in fourth and uh, the highest starting player after, other than him is Brandon Nelson who was involved in that accident, surprisingly enough. And 14th. You're going to go green next time. Bye. We may not need overtime. I say that lightly. Damn it. Paul? Nothing. Alright. Welcome to the cluster crap of the Fire Snow's Worst Park. Ah, I felt like they could have made it longer, they just couldn't. They just didn't. Bummer. Mm. Learn from this, lighten it up a bit next time. Clearly, these tests just don't seem to fit the ticket. Little cars coming out and in and out of pit road try to finish the race. Specifically, playoff drivers trying to get as much points as they can. Getting every little bit for sure. We're going to go green lap 15. We're going to have two laps to decide this thing. We are not going over time unless they are not able to make it that one lap. And then once they hit the white flag, next flag finishes the race, but they'll be racing under pace to that flag anyway, so last lap will be the final lap regardless. But uh battle right now for most laps led is between Jacob Shangle and Barney Thresh third. We'll see what happens post race. If they tie they both get the bonus, but neither of which are in the playoffs. They're both going for standings and win count. And Jessica trying to get one number one. Don't count guys behind that either. Anyone can sneak in. Quadruped still hasn't gotten a win and he's currently playoff leader as we speak. Ran very well in the round of 16 as well, that one car did. Was able to Mickey his way into an NCCRS title. Could possibly do it for the Cup Series. Could also, possibly, be the first ever driver to win two titles back-to-back -back in either series. That has never been done. Not surprisingly, seeing this series is relatively young, but we'll see what happens. I mean, it's old, but it the seasons are long, so you don't have as long as, as many champions as this series that you do like um two se two seasons a year as we only do one season a year go green next time bye yep we're going green this time and over time uh, actually no uh, we're, we're really avoid that no. i was uh, assuming we were gonna go over time but it was figured you know what i think we can avoid it we're sure enough we could We're going to have a two-lap shootout, and if they are not able to keep it green for this one lap, we're going to have another two-lap shootout, which that would be over time. It happens.
Um. Now we're heading towards the front stretch of Papyrus. As the as the pace goes, heading to pit road. Single file restart. Jacob Strang uh, Jacob Strangle. Head to the heads to the um, restart zone. Green flag is now back underway at Papyrus. Quadruped wasting no time in that one car. He's looking for the win. He he hasn't got a single win. Seventy so one tried going rookie. three. Thought better of it. He's, Fifty nine from the Nice move there. I think this is the the right one. Enough. Sixty four got the run. Seems like if they get to the final lap, they'll be something wicked. Still green. If it, if they, if 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 something would something if something happens, they'll the it, at the final lap. That that means it will be a good finish. Let's see if that 59 can get a run first. He's got a nice one coming off here for four. He's gonna make the move low. I think it was a bit too early though. And work. It does. One lap to go. Next flag ends it. One lap. One. One lap to go. Here comes quadruped in the one car. Quadruped gone to the low side. No. And they inside. No. Uh, 64 is going to get up, moved up the track a little bit. One oh. try to get a run. Oh, he's going to hit the wall. Bye bye, bye. He hit the wall. That's going to give that 59 a big run. Oh, one's in the wall. And 71 taking it wall. three wide. Three wide didn't happen. One gets 71. the run. But I think the 59 has got a big 51. enough gap. Barney Thresher's a third. The eliminated from the round of four. He's won three races this season. Coming off of the final corner to possibly final win. Corner. Four races in one season, never done in the NR73 era of in, of this series. And one final straight, Bernie Thresher the third. He's going to do it. Four-time winner did it. for the 2023 and season. And Quadruped gets second. Quadruped got second. Is, is that his best um, goal? Uh, win would have been better, but... You know what? Uh, that's pretty decent good. Uh, climbed his way into the second. That race was honestly bad, but at least we had a four-time winner out of it, so I think we can get Tech W's we're going to get him. So, it's your top ten. Barney Thresh the third, your winner. Second place, Quadruped. Quadruped uh, he's currently your playoffs leader. Uh, third place, James Shingle. Fourth, Bobby Isaac. Fifth place, Zevil. Sixth, Brad Stover. Six. Seventh, you go Seventh. Ahead. Seventh is um Bradley Ream. Eighth is um Jessica. We haven't seen her from from the um from the top three, and now does she finish in the top ten? So that's good for her. Ninth is um Gunther, and tenth is Brandon Nelson. Also makes playoff him, driver. Yeah. And then he, playoff he makes that, it to the top ten. Playoff drivers that didn't finish. Uh, Bripsy Zion. Dark X Rain with that fuel leak was not able to finish. NH uh Bana Pulse Jr. Uh, Reggie Fulgman. So six playoff drivers did not finish. So it's gonna be two spots above the cut line that are pretty much up for grabs come next week at Miami Road Course. Any last thoughts, Jonah? Uh yes. You there'll be the, the, this, I think this race is a, is a good one. See, see, we see like lots of um, lots of passes, three whites, and 
and we and we seen um Re um Rex and uh, um at every caution. Like where we see a few too many sins, but we'll work on that. Yeah. But always working for And but but Brad Stover might have a chance to um wait, is he in the uh, sixth place? Yeah. So he So he might be where Oh, wait. He's never mind. I thought he's uh, I thought he's part of the playoffs. Whoops. Nah. Well, but but ho where, I don't know where Sean Hard um finished. <laughs> well, we'll see I that in the standings and uh, get points updated uh, a couple of days after this is uploaded. Uh, got any? Uh, go ahead and close this out. Um, well, for me, Jonah Burridge, this is the Cars Lane Cup Series, Pirates Motor Sports Park. See you next week at Miami Road Course. And um, decide, hopefully, uh, around a 12 uh, points. And uh, we'll see you then.